Are you thinking about crate training or maybe struggling with crate training your new puppy? Well, don't worry, because in this video, that is exactly what I'm gonna be helping you with. Welcome back to Femre K9 Training. In this show, we're going to be answering more of your submitted questions to help you become high level K9 leaders that can have your very own perfect K9 companion. But without further ado, let's check out today's question. Hiya, uh, we're currently using the perfect puppy course for our nine week old Vishla Lab Cross. Um, she seems to have a pretty good relationship with her crate. She'll take herself off in there for naps uh, during the day, especially if we're in the room, uh, or she'll just go in there to chew on a toy sometimes. Um, but if we're, in, if we're in a different room, for example, and she falls asleep on the floor or on one of us, um, should we allow that? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't bother us, um, but should we be making the effort to get her to go into her crate with the door open? to nap during the day at all times? Or is it, or is it just uh, nighttime that we need to kind of enforce crate sleeping? Thanks. No problem whatsoever. And that is an incredible question that gives me a fascinating answer that I'm really excited to share with you. And I think I'm gonna break it down into two sections, very specifics about crate training, but then more importantly, uh, information about the relationship that you have with your dog. So then, first of all, the information about crate training. If you want your crate training to go quicker, smoother, and happen faster, then enforcing that absolutely every sleep happens in the crate, and wherever they fall asleep, you move them to the crate, will make crate training go faster, be easier and smoother process. If you let your puppy sleep on the sofa, on you, on the rug, on the carpet or in different areas of the house, it may make crate training take a little bit longer and there may be a few bumps in the road in getting her to perfectly settle down in the crate when you do put her in the crate. Which then takes me on to the second part of the answer, which I actually think is a much more important answer that more people should think about. And that is that ultimately that decision is yours to make. All I want out of everything we do here at Fenrir is for you to be happy and to have happy, content, well-behaved dogs that keep out of shelters and stay off the euthanasia table. That means that there isn't one size fits all for absolutely every owner and every dog. The important thing and the thing that I want you to think about is that you need to set your own rules, boundaries and expectations that fit with your lifestyle and ensure that you're happy with your dog. Then when you and your family have set those rules, boundaries and expectations, you need to enforce them with militant consistency so that your dog has a calm, consistent leader in its life. That consistency will help your dog be able to look up to you for guidance and direction and ensure that it doesn't develop any anxiety and fear through a lack of consistency and not knowing what the rules are at any given moment. So therefore, if you want to have a cuddle on your sofa with your dog and it's lovely when they fall asleep on you and that makes you happy, then absolutely go for it. Just make sure that if that's a rule in your home, that everybody within that home sticks to that rule so it's consistent for your dog. So what your perfect canine companion is might very well look different to what my personal canine companion is. Providing they're happy, content, they're not fearful or anxious, and they look up to you for guidance and direction, that's all that I want to give every dog and every owner. After that, what the rules, boundaries, and expectations that you put in place are, are completely up to you. And it is up to you what makes you happy, and therefore your dog happy. So have that chat with your family, decide whether you want to allow it or you don't want to allow it. Whatever decision you come to, enforce that consistently and I am sure that you will have a wonderful Vizsla Cross Labrador that is more than happy to sleep in the crate when it's time to sleep in the crate. And if you want them to curl up on the sofa and have a snooze on you in the evening, that's absolutely fine as well. I hope that helped. If it did, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I can't wait to see you on the next episode of Femoral Canine Training.